Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial video, I'll show you how to create the first floor with least effort by making the best use of the ground floor. Before creating the first floor, let's analyze the wall layouts. You can see that the ground floor and the first floor wall layouts are almost similar. Let's compare the ground floor and the first floor. It can be done by isolating the wall layer. So I'll go to layer walk icon, just click on that and you select the wall layer and just click on close and click on continue button. Now you have isolated the wall layer and turned off the rest of the layers. Let's take the left wall. You can see that it is the same and in the front wall there is a minor variation because in the first floor there is a balcony and this particular wall has to be moved backward. On the right side there is no fin wall that means this projection is not there in the first floor. And we don't have to bother about the back side because we are not going to generate any view from the back side. Now let's switch over to our 3D file. We will take a copy of the ground floor and keep it on top to create the first floor. So I'll click on copy command and I'll select the ground floor. This is the base point and this is the second point. So we got a copy of it. But the positions of doors and windows in the first floor may be different from that of the ground floor. So let's analyze the door and window positions. So I'll go to the layer walk again and I'll just turn on all those layers which were turned off before. I'll select the first layer and I'll just go all the way down, hold on the shift key and press the last layer. Now all the layers got selected, just give close and click on continue. Now let's analyze the door and window positions. And when you analyze it, you can see that certain windows are exactly identical whereas certain windows are different. We can always take a copy of those windows and doors which are identical and we have to create those doors and windows which are different. So let's work on each face. On the left face when we consider this W4, the four panel window in the ground floor can be copied onto the first floor because these two windows are exactly the same. Whereas the windows and ventilator which appear here on this face cannot be copied onto the first floor because we have only a single window that is a four panel window appearing in the first floor plus we have an opening over here. So let's copy this W4 onto the first floor. So I'll switch over to wireframe representation and I'll go to copy command and I'll select this objects within a standard window. Then I'll select this as the base point and I'll choose this corner as a second point which is a corresponding point on top. I'll just press escape to cancel the copy command so that window is copied. Next we have to work on this face and you know that this face has a window with a different dimension appearing so these windows cannot be copied. So we have to close all these openings. For that I'll switch over to wireframe again and I'll go to move face option from the solid editing panel and I'll click on this as the face then right click then this is the base point and this is the second point. So when you move that face those two faces will get merged as a result that opening will get automatically closed and I'll go to move face again and I'll repeat the same sequence of steps for the rest of the two openings and I've selected this face this is the base point this is the second point. Again move face this is a face to be moved you can pick right at the center of that face then this is the base point and this is the second point. Now we have closed all these openings. Next we will add certain details on this flat face. We will start with an opening at the end of the passage. Here the width of the passage is given as 140 centimeters. We will also create a window right at the mid of this wall. So let us switch over to the 3D file. Before we create the openings we have to align the UCS on this face. So I click on the view tab and I'll go to the face option of UCS command and I'll just pick a point on the side that particular face is highlighted. Now just give an enter to align the UCS there. Now go to home tab and I'll click on the rectangle tool and I'll pick my first corner over here. Now when I'm asked to select the opposite corner, I'll go to the dimension. Now I'll specify the dimensions. So click on the dimensions. Now the length of the rectangle is 140, which is nothing but the width of the passage and uh, the width of the rectangle is the height of the opening, which is 210 centimeters. Now it will ask you to pick the opposite corner point. I'll just pick a point over here so that particular rectangle is created. 
Now let us switch over to a realistic representation. Okay, now we have to make an opening over here. So I'll click on the press pull tool and I'll just pick a point inside. Then you drag the all the way inside, then just pick a point inside. You, so you have made an opening here. This opening is actually at the end of the passage. Now let's create an opening for the window. That is a four panel window. So I'll again start with another rectangle. So I'll switch over to the wireframe representation. I'll start with the rectangle tool and I'll pick a point over here. Then, then I'll go to dimension option. When I'm asked to give the length of the rectangle, I'll give 200. When I'm asked to specify the width of the rectangle, I'll give 150. Now I'll just pick to specify the opposite corner point. Next, I'll keep this rectangle on the proper location. For that, I'll just draw a polyline which starts from this end point and I'll shift right click and I'll select perpendicular and I'll draw a perpendicular to this line. Next, I'll give move command and I'll select this object. This is the base point and mid of this line is the second point. Now it's taken to the correct location. Next, I'll erase this line. It's not required anymore. Next, I'll press pull this rectangle to create the cutout on the wall. Just drag the rectangle all the way inside and pick a point. And you have created a cutout on the wall. You can go to realistic representation and take a look. Next, I'll take a copy of the same window and I'll keep it over here. So I'll go to copy command and select this entire window using the window selection method. Then I'll pick this point as the base point and I'll pick a corresponding point over here as the second point. Now we have copied a window on this face. Next, we have to create a parapet on this wall because this is where the passage ends. In order to protect this area, we will make a parapet. So we will first create a parapet wall. So before we create the parapet wall, we should make sure that the 3D wall layer is a current layer. Then I'll go to rectangle command and I'll click my first corner over here. Then I'll go to dimension option. I'll give the length of the rectangle as 140, which is the width of the passage and width of the rectangle as 75. When I'm asked to pick the opposite corner point, I'll turn off my O-snap and I'll pick a point over here. Next, I'll extrude this rectangle through a height of minus 10 centimeters. So I'll give minus 10. Now the parapet wall is created. Next, I'll align the UCS on this face. So I'll go to view tab and I'll go to face option of UCS command and I'll align the UCS on this face. Just give an enter to accept that orientation and using a polyline, I'll create the profile of the beading. So I'll click on polyline and I'll pick my start point over here. Then I'll give 10 centimeter, then five centimeters, then five centimeter again. In this direction, five, 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 and I'll just give a close. Next, I'll go to extrude command and I'll select this particular profile. When I'm asked to give the height of extrusion, I'll give 140. Now let's change the layer of this particular object to the 3D molding layer because I want the beading to appear in that layer. Rest of this area can be covered either by using a grill or by using a glass as per your requirement. I leave it to your discretion. Now let's work on the front face. On the front face, the windows appearing on the bedrooms on the left side are identical. So we'll take a copy of this window in the ground floor and we'll keep it to the first floor. We will change the visual style and I'll give copy command and I'll copy this window in the ground floor. Then I'll select this as a base point and this as a second point. Now we have got a copy of it. Let's change the visual style to realistic. Now we have completed this area. Next we have to create the middle wall. So let's see this portion in the plan drawing. When you analyze the middle wall, you can see that the middle wall in the ground floor and the first floor is not perfectly matching. The middle wall in the first floor is moved slightly backwards through a distance of 144 centimeters to make space for a balcony. Let's switch over to the 3D file. It's not possible to move this wall backwards. So what we're gonna do is we will delete this wall and create a new one behind at a distance of 144 centimeters. To delete this wall, we will create a rectangle extrude and subtract and we will actually create a rectangle on top. So let's change the visual style 
and I'll align the UCS by using the view tab and I'll select the face option of UCS command and I'll align the UCS on the top face. Next I'll use a polyline command and I'll start from here. Okay, the next I'll select this perpendicular by shift right clicking. I've got that button menu which is the O snap menu. Then I pick a point corresponding to this point over here. For that I'll use point filters. I'll go to point filters dot x off end of this and dot y off end of this. So you have got a point here. I'll just pick this end point and I'll give a close. Next I'll extrude this rectangle which I've created just now. I have selected it and the height of extrusion is minus 310. So that rectangle is extruded. Next I'll go to subtract and from this wall I'll just give an enter. I'll subtract this rectangular block I've created just now and give an enter. So we have subtracted that portion. Next we have to create a profile that represents the wall. So I'll go to polyline again and I'll start from this end point through distance of 144 backwards. So I'll type 144 which is actually the width of the balcony and I'll choose a point corresponding to this point over here. So I'll go to shift right click point filters dot x off. I'll pick a point over here and dot y off. I'll pick and extract the y coordinate from here. So this point is defined and I'll come back to this point and I'll just give an enter to go out of the polyline command. Next I'll go to offset tool and I'll give an offset distance of 24 centimeter which is the thickness of the wall and I have selected the object offset and picked the side to offset. Now I have two polyline profiles which I'll be able to extrude only when it is closed. So I'll close these two endpoints using two polylines. Then I'll click on the join command and I'll select all these four polylines to be joined as a single object. Now all the profiles got joined as a single object. Next I'll go to extrude command. I'll select this polyline profile and I'll give a height of extrusion of minus 310. Next we will union this wall with the existing wall. I'll click on union command and I'll select this one as well as on this wall. Now it's converted as a single object. Let us switch over to realistic representation and take a look. Next we have to create a cutout to accommodate the door come window. When you switch over to the elevation you can see that at the middle of the central wall there is a door come window existing. The size of the door come window is given here. It is 200 width and 2 ton as the height. Let's create such a provision. I'll change the representation and I'll align the UCS on this front face. So I'll click on view face option of UCS command and align the UCS on the front face given enter and I'll go to a rectangle tool and I'll click first point over here. Select the opposite corner point by using the dimension option and I'll give the length as 200 and the width as 210 centimeters. And I'll pick to define the opposite corner point. Now I'll extrude this rectangle through a distance of 24 centimeter, which is the thickness of the wall. And I'll go to move command and select this. This is the base point and I'll select mid of this central wall top edge as the second point. Next I'll move this object again. Base point I'll pick here, second point at a distance of 100 units straight down. Now this object is taken to the lintel level. Next we will go for a subtraction. So I'll click on subtract. From this object I'll just give an enter and select this one and that portion got subtracted. Now we have created a provision to accommodate the door come window. Since you are already familiar with the procedure to create door and window, you can easily create a door come window which is a combination of a door and window. Those who are not familiar may please click on the link provided. This is how it will appear once you create a door come window. In this door come window, I have created a single panel window with a dimension of 50 cm followed by a 1 meter door then another 50 cm wide window. In a door come window, the door and window will share a common frame where they intersect each other. 
okay so that is how this particular door cum window is created next we have to create a surface over here to represent the slab of the balcony so i'll switch over to wireframe and i'll orbit this model slightly upward then i'll align my ucs using the three point option of ucs command i'll keep my origin here x here and y here i'll go to polyline tool and i'll pick to define the endpoints of the polyline and I'll click on this endpoint and come to this endpoint and I'll come over here then I'll just give a close next I'll extrude this polyline through a distance of 1 cm to represent the top surface of the balcony slab let's change the layer of this particular object to 3D floor layer and now the surface appears like a balcony slab next we have to change the size of this provision because when you took a copy of this kitchen window it has got a height of 1 meter but actually over here we have another bedroom with a similar window appearing and you know that the height of this window is 150 centimeter so you have to lower this face 50 centimeter downward so I'll click on move face and I'll click on this face and I'll select this as a base point when I'm asked to give distance I can give 50 Next, I can copy the same window onto the other side. So I'll go to copy command, select the base point, and I'll select the second point over here to get a copy of it. Now we have completed the front face. Next, we have to work on the right face. So let's see the plan. When you compare the right face, you can see that uh, this fin wall is not there on the first floor then on the ground floor we don't have any windows on the right side of the kitchen whereas on the first floor we have a bedroom in which there are two two panel windows then over here there is no doors and windows uh, this face is just a flat face let's do that in the 3d model i'll just orbit this model we have to eliminate uh, this fin wall because that's not there in the first floor so i'll click on the move face option and I'll select this face and I'll select this particular point as a base point and I'll choose this point as a second point so that fin is gone next we have to close these openings because this face is a flat face you can easily do that by moving these faces I'm not going to repeat the same procedure you can just try it on your own and over here you can have two two panel windows you can create two openings over here and uh, we have a two panel window on this face which can be copied and you can keep it onto this particular site okay hence you can complete the first floor i hope this tutorial has given you useful informations which will help you to create a first floor if you have a ground floor i have provided the plan that is the 2d drawing the 3d file at the beginning as well as at the end of the tutorial along with the video description you can download those files and you can try it on your own all the best